Still haven't tried the Lockalicious All Natural Hair Care product line? Well, let's hear what the Lock community has to say about it. I love how how it sprays and how it feels, you guys. Like it feels so good. And it smells amazing, you guys. The Lock and Twist moisturizer was really good for me. The hydration mist was phenomenal. This is bomb, baby. I was really impressed, kind of blown away. And I think that if you're struggling, definitely go check them out. And check out the five-star reviews on our website. So, what are you waiting for? Go to Locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. So, they were talking about the racism that's going on in Germany on black people. And let me tell y'all something. I told y'all this, that Y'all just really think America has racism? We all have to understand the culture of white supremacy. In the culture of white supremacy, we are public enemy number one. It's always gonna be some problems with black people. Now you may have some that may be more open with it and more aggressive with it, and then you may have some that may be passive aggressive with it, okay? It's low key. It's like, you know, something that you just can't see but you know what's going on, right? Now, racism against black people living in Germany is a it's widespread. It's a widespread problem according to a new comprehensive study. Now, they said of the roughly 83.7 million people living in Germany today, more than 1 million have African ancestry, according to authors of a German Afrozensis report released earlier this week. Now, the survey of the nearly 6,000 Afro Germans, who, which took place between July 20, 2020 and September 6, 2020 revealed more than 91% of black people living in the country said they believe that anti-black discrimination in housing occurs often or very often. Now nearly 87% of the respondents said the same about dealing with security personnel in Germany. And more than 84% of Afro-German surveys said police discrimination often or very often happens. Now just shy of 85% of those surveys said the same about discrimination in the media and on the internet. And a majority of the respondents said the same was true about anti-black discrimination, in education, work, and the justice system, as well as agencies and public authorities. Now anti-black discrimination is especially bad in the German housing market, security services and policing based on the survey results with more than 60% of respondents saying discrimination in those areas all occurs very Frequently. Now, the Berlin based black community group Each One Teach One and the Civil Society Organization of Citizens for Europe organized the Afrozensis study. Now, the authors emphasized that respondents were asked their perceived frequency of discrimination regardless of their own personal experiences with it. Now, the results of the Afrozensis indicate that anti black racism is widespread in Germany and anchored in institutions. Oh, so basically what you're saying is systemic racism. Once again, you have to understand, my brothers and sisters on the other side of the world, white supremacy is a global thing, okay? And when you live in, in countries with the culture of white supremacy, it is built into their institutions. This is why you have you use the term systemic racism, understand? The reason why a lot of your countries, especially the African nations, look the way they look or the problems that they have is due to years upon years of colonialism and white supremacy. So you really think that leaving your African nation and going to Germany is that it's gonna be so much better for you. Those people have that culture and you must understand that. And my next book is going to go deep into the culture because y'all don't really understand how deep it is. See, I don't get upset about their culture at this point, because I understand it. Many of you don't. You like to use the word racism and this and that. No, 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 it's a culture. No matter where they go, they're doing this. Have you figured that out by now? Usually no matter where you go and you're doing the exact same thing as part of your culture. Look, give you an example, make it easy. I can have a dog in Texas that, say, that dog will bark every day. I can take a dog 
and put it in, 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 in uh, California, it's going to bark. I can take that same dog, go put it in China, it's going to bark. I can take that same dog and put it in, in the African country, it's going to bark. I can put it in a European country, the Caribbean. Basically what I'm saying is, it's in a dog to bark. That's part of who he is. No matter where he at, he's going to bark. Now, some dogs bark more than others, right? But they all bark, correct? All right. Just like with the culture of white supremacy. Some are more white supremacists than others, and some are doing it in a passive aggressive way. But most, but I, one thing is clear, all of their culture is built in the institutions. And the culture of white supremacy says, I have to practice anti-black racism. You have to understand that. My African brothers and sisters, my Caribbean brothers and sisters that go over there. Now I know some black folks will go over there from America and say, oh, I live in Germany. And oh man, I, I didn't, I may run into a few things, but it ain't been that bad. Well, see, it's a little different with you, black Americans. You, you, we're treated a little different outside the country than we are here. Not to say we don't deal with some racism, but we're treated just a little bit better than our African brothers and sisters when, when they see that blue passport. They, I'm just keeping it real because when they run into an African, they really look down on them a lot of times. I'm just, just being 100. Now, they said that there is no area of life in which discrimination and racism are not extensive problems in Germany. Now, they also noted that Germany hasn't collected data about its re residents and ethnic and racial backgrounds since the end of World War II and the aftermath of the Holocaust. The nation's government has asserted that those in power shouldn't be allowed to identify demographic groups at risk of persecution. Now, the opponents of that policy in Germany have argued the lack of ethnic and racial demographic data unintentionally makes racism harder to track and allows it to remain hidden. No, that's really the same thing they, they always want to push. That it's not a problem. What are y'all talking about? You're the problem. We don't need to track that for what, you know, cause they don't want to be held in account for what they're doing. But this is why I tell my brothers and sisters, when you leave your African country, your Caribbean country, and you're going to go to the West, okay, you're going to deal with anti-black racism because that is the culture of white supremacy. It's in there, anti-black racism. That's one of the pillars of the culture of white supremacy. You get it? It is one of the pillars is anti-black racism. So you lead, you jump out of one issue and go into another issue. See, for me, I know that this country, I know what's going on here, but I'm not going to go from America and then go from America and then move somewhere in Europe and say, Oh, I'm just, I'm going to live here. No, if that's the case. I can stay here in America. If that's the case. At least, at least I know what's going on here. And at least I know my brothers and sisters are here too. Right. But y'all going to places where there's not a lot of Africans and everywhere you go, we're like, man, you looking around like for real, you know, it's like they everywhere. And you want to get mad when you run into some racism. That's why I say, make it work in your country, make it work. Because I've talked to brothers and sisters that have been to these, lived in these European countries, and every last one of them talk about the racism. They say they never understood racism until they moved over there. And a lot of them are, are moving back to the continent. They made their money, they bought their land, they bought their home, and then they, they are going back. And that's why I tell all of you, make the money you're going to make, get, be, get some land, if back home, build you a nice house back home, stack you up some bread and come on back and then create some businesses and hire your brothers and sisters in your own country. Stop staying over there with them people. Them people don't like us like that. You know, I don't know how, how, how hard it is to tell black folks this, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Some of you probably have been in Germany. Some of you are living in Germany right now. But once again, I'm gonna repeat this. The black American experience in Germany may just be a little different than our African brothers and sisters experience in Germany. I mean, I, I, that's why I want to preface that because I just know somebody will come to comments saying something different. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African diaspora news channel app in the Google play and Apple app store. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. 
And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.